New tonight, thieves broke into a Carmichael family's two vehicles, but they didn't get very far. The family found the thieves actually wearing some of the very items stolen from them. CBS 13's Steve Large is live in Carmichael with the family turned crime fighter. Steve, what happened here? Well, this Carmichael family thought they'd never see their stuff again, but then within hours of this burglary, they come to this parking lot and they see their clothing on the backs of strangers. Yeah, taking off already? Yeah, I'm going with Nelly. Oh, okay. You might call John Miller Super Dad. So these are my so these are my little guys. He and his wife have nine children, four still at home. This is uh, what I do everything for, you know, work long hours and you know, and go get stuff from from thieves. <laughs> he can laugh now. This week, Dad doubled as a detective. And everything that you work hard for, you know, it's uh, can be taken in a heartbeat by people that just don't care. Thieves broke into his wife and son's cars, taking off with identification, keys, and clothes. The crooks then made the careless decision, changing into the very clothes they stole. Miller's son's shirts and shorts, then hanging out at a parking lot less than a mile away. Miller's son was the first to spot them just hours after the break-in. That guy's wearing my shirt and my shorts. That guy's wearing my shirt and my shorts. These are definitely the guys. He called dad, and dad drove to the scene confronting the criminals. We found drugs, we found uh, knives, we found one guy had a hatchet in his hand. So, you know, we quickly disarmed him. Luckily, everything turned out okay. A Carmichael family man turned crime fighter. Thankfully, this adventure ended safely. Dad's still smiling. <laughs> yeah, in this particular case, uh, the Miller family got almost everything back, and thankfully, nobody was hurt. Of course, I reached out to the sheriff's department. They don't recommend anyone taking law enforcement into their own hands. Wow, just incredible, Steve. And a family of nine. That's a big family. My goodness. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks so much Plus for that live parents. report. Plus two parents, right? <laughs> there you go. Mm. All right, we received this story from a viewer tip. If you have a story idea, let us know. You can use Twitter, Facebook, or always send us an email to news at cbs13.com.